Ramblings of a Music Teacher, Episode 54, Solitary Confinement, The Downfall of a Musician. According to a recent survey I conducted on the community tab of this channel, the majority of music students spend over 80% of their time playing their instrument, practicing in solitary. That is, not to an audience or with others. For example, in ensembles and lessons. If this describes you, then this video is for you. Music Online UK it is true that to be a good musician, you need to spend many hours practicing. However, this very act in itself can be the downfall of a musician. We can spend so much time perfecting our technique or a particular piece that we lose sight of the reason we started studying music in the first place. Ask yourself now, why did I start learning an instrument? just to perfect a certain piece and pass exams, or to share the talent I have with others. Even thinking about that aspect of taking exams, it is interesting to note that the ABRSM marking criteria for a distinction on a piece mentions vivid communication of character and style. Your aim is not just to play the notes correctly, but to convey the composer's intentions, to communicate emotion through musicality. And this can be much harder when practicing on your own. I can speak from personal experience that when I am playing to an audience, the senses are heightened. I feel a connection with the audience and that gift of communicating emotions to them through my instrument is a rare opportunity that many people on this planet will never have. Added to this, practicing on your own for long periods can have negative psychological effects. You could liken it to working in a dead-end job where no one seems to notice what you do, and this mundane monotony can find its way into your playing. To use our work analogy again, wouldn't you feel more motivated in your job if someone acknowledged your efforts, praised the work that you do, as a musician, I guarantee sharing your music with others will make you a better musician. But I need to practice, I hear you say, and I don't have the opportunity to play to others every day. Well, here is an interesting exercise for you. Find a piece that you consider is up to performing standard and make an audio recording of it, trying to communicate the composer's intentions as if playing to a live audience. Then, listen to your recording and be your own audience. You will be surprised at what you hear, that you have never noticed when you are playing. And then, I have another proposition for you. I have opened a new discussion post on the Music Online UK forum, and there is a link in the description below this video, where you can upload and share with the community your recording and also listen to other people's recordings on which you could give feedback. It will be like having a virtual audience complete with the reward of sharing that I mentioned earlier. Of course, nothing can beat the experience of a real live audience, but if such opportunities don't come your way that often, I would encourage you to make use of this community and not just keep your music confined to the privacy of a practice room. And so, on to our new weekly segment, Comment of the Week. Last week's comment was on the longer side, so in contrast, this week's will be short and sweet, but nevertheless, it caught my eye. In line with the theme of these ramblings today, I want to give a shout out to Sophia's DIY, who said on my video, how to pass an ABRSM exam scales. Thanks so much, this video helped me a lot. I got a distinction, 135. So congratulations, Sophia's DIY, an excellent result. And I will be picking another comment that stands out for next week's ramblings. 
which, by the way, can be on any video on this channel, or even a comment on any of my blog posts or the forum. As always, thanks for watching, and see you next time for more ramblings of a music teacher.